to my channel at your girl Pauline and today we're gonna be talking about the best places to eat in Seoul and you guys honestly like I've lived in Korea for six months now and I can say I've got some of the like places that are foreigner friendly I feel like that are easy to order but a lot of places is like traditionally if you want like a traditional all Korean traditional one I could definitely give you guys one of those but I feel like when you come into Seoul sometimes or if you're here for like a trip for a longer time that you'd be like oh yeah like I want to try like bougie this bougie that so yeah like let's go into some of my favorite places to eat in Seoul okay so we're going to identify my favorite Korean food place in like Seoul specifically. I've tried a lot of Korean food and yes, if you love like the basic foods like, you know, um, budejigae's, if you like like, you know, Korean barbecue, stuff like that, there's millions of places and there's like a million resources for you to find like the best of Korea in that regard. But I wanna talk about things that like people don't kinda consider when they're traveling into Seoul and you don't really consider until you live here. My favorite Korean place to eat, like Korean food, place to eat is actually in Insadong at a place called Ojuchin. I'm trying as hard as I can guys. I've, I'm trying. But I'm gonna put the title right here. It's actually on Mango Plate and Mango Plate is actually um, the Yelp of Korea I feel like and it's rated a 4.5. I found it on Mango Plate and I was like oh yeah like I'll get to it. It's in the Iksongdong area like where the Hano kind of like neighborhood is where it's like super popular. It's actually right on the outskirts of it. And it's so, so good. I actually tried it with my friend, Sarah. And genuinely, like for me to say it's like my favorite Korean thing I've had is a lot. I've had a lot of Korean food in Korea and it's honestly so delicious. It's kind of like this spicy stew type of ordeal. I'm gonna link it down below um, from Mango Plate specifically. But yeah, guys, it's friggin' delicious. Like if you have to go eat one thing in Seoul that is like Korean, you kind of want the Korean feel, but something like Ooh, like the locals love it. Like all the people in that restaurant were locals only, but like Iksongdong in general is super popular with tourists, but no tourists were in there. I was like, oh my God, this is so good. So it honestly worth, like if I had to rate it out of five, definitely like 4.9. Like, I think like I would say I would give it like 0.1 down was because I like didn't get rice, but like I didn't order rice. So yeah, technically, like, I would give it all these places I'm telling you is like a 5 out of 5, but like 4.9, just because everything is in Korean, but you could point and like identify like the products and you'll see the pictures. So definitely check that one out. The next place I want to talk about is called Salt House Deli in Mangwon. There's actually also one in Jungno, but I haven't been in the one in Jungno, but the one in Mangwon is so good. I went with my boyfriend. Um, so this Salt House Deli is kind of like a, you know, homemade deli place. Um, they have like fresh cut uh, charcuterie and all types of the good stuff. They also had like amazing bread, but I, I had a, I think I had a pastrami sandwich maybe? I'm not too sure. But anyways, yeah, it's super delicious. Like, like, like if you really, really are craving something savory it's just so amazing they have like breakfast platters they have charcuterie boards like i said they serve like craft beers and wines um and their sandwiches are amazing they're known for like their homemade breads and stuff so sourdough breads ciabattas and stuff like that um the thing is though it does get busy because i went with my boyfriend on a random weekday when we were in seoul and we got there an hour after they opened and we were like the last seat available and then they had a waiting line like right after we got there so they open at 10 if you really really want to try it try it before the lunch rush so between like 11 30 and about 2 30 don't go i feel like or maybe three um but yeah just it's worth it though if you do need to get in line super good love salt house deli the third place i want to talk about is gino's pizzeria in itaewon so gino's pizzeria is like a new york style pizza and in korea if you don't already know pizza in korea is its own breed of food but gino's has the best new york style pizzas here in korea like specifically i think or at least like in seoul specifically i really do enjoy gino's and um yeah like if you guys like like the thin new york style pizza you'll really like it another honorable mention but i prefer gino's because i like new york style better is motor city and it's also an itaewon and motor city is more of like a chicago 
type of style. It's like deeper dish. So if you like that style, you might like that, but I prefer Gino's Pizzeria, thin New York crust, really nice sauce. It's just friggin' delicious. So yeah, definitely check out Gino's if you want a good pizza. So the next place I'm gonna be talking about, I need to take a moment to actually say this, is Hakatanaka in Hongdae. Okay, I really tried. It's a Japanese restaurant. It's my favorite Japanese restaurant. This also is very, all the places I'm listing are very high in mango plates like ratings, but this place is one of the highest in Hongdae. It's a Japanese food place and it's so delicious. It's super fresh, super simple, and everything's like really affordable, I stand. So definitely check it out if you guys like Japanese food. They have like karage, they also have like bowls, like, um, like meat dishes so yeah like all type of things definitely check it out and now on to my favorite 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 cafes slash dessert places so actually only have like one dessert place I'm gonna recommend but yeah because all the cafes have desserts as well so let's get started in my favorite cafes so my favorite cafe at this moment is layered in Anguk um, Anguk is near like um, all the palaces in Seoul so layered cafe is like it's actually not rated that high on mango plate I understand though because it gets really really busy but it's definitely worth it guys like I always go at opening so I always go around 10 a.m. when I do go so that's probably why I've like experienced it really well but yeah it has like some of the best British like scones and teas and lattes and stuff it's just like a it's just such a good cafe like honestly it's definitely worth it it's out of Anguk exit 2 I know it exactly like to the T it takes like a one minute walk so yeah Anguk like the place to be and if you guys are like in Korea you definitely know about cafe onion being really popular in Seoul like it's kind of like a like a hipster place but I think I prefer like cafe layered for sure new recent discovery for cafes was in this last trip with my boyfriend to Seoul and it's actually reflow out of Hongdae exit 3 it's kind of like a street out of like main street like in Hongdae it's called reflow and this cafe was so delicious I had a mocha latte there that was so so perfect like smooth chocolatey but like caffeinated my boyfriend had a really amazing tea there it was very quiet too i mean we do go to cafes pretty early and i understand that but like i genuinely could tell the quality like was so good they also have like dessert cakes there reflow is on mango plate so i'll link it down below it's i'm pretty sure rated pretty high as well but I really enjoyed it. Like it was a cafe where I wasn't expecting it to be all that great. I just kind of like popped in. I usually research all the places I go to. So that was such a nice surprise. And the desserts looked really delicious. Honestly, I might go back and try the desserts, but for like latte cafe style and just like chilling and stuff like that, definitely go to Reflow. They have like big couches in there. I really like it. it's like modern, like with like an urban twist, but like really comfy still. So yeah, I really liked them. One of my favorite dessert places is Mafia Dessert in Itaewon. A lot of foreigner places are in Itaewon, so that's why I mentioned it a bunch of times. And I love going to Hongdae, which is a very popular place for my age group. So yeah, that's why there's a lot of suggestions. But Mafia Dessert is honestly, I thought it was hype when I first saw it, like on like mango plate and stuff like that, but no, it's not hype. The tiramisu there is friggin' delicious. They actually have like one where you could try all their tiramisu, so it's like a sampler platter. So good. Um, they also have very, very delicious coffee. And when I mean that, like, I mean it. Like, they take so much time and so much craft in, like, crafting their espressos. And their, um, they also do, like, a Dutch coffee. I'm not too sure, like, what that is specifically, but I've had it. It's super strong. Like, and I love a good, strong coffee that's not burnt, you know? You guys know? Like, bad coffee tastes nasty. Well, like, no. Like, they make great 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 caffeine products as well as tiramisu they specialize in tiramisu um but they also have other desserts there i know but like tiramisu there are like their thing so definitely check out mafia dessert if you're in et1 a kind of smaller shop it's my last cafe that i'm gonna be talking about um i cannot pronounce the name to save my life it's onu liu Wiru. i'm that's just terrible but you guys see the name and you guys will see links down below uh, for mango play um it's in mangwan as well and to my surprise mangwan is also in kind of like the hongdae mapo area but it's like a lot quieter and honestly i enjoy it so much there's like the outlet of object stationery stores there there's like 
the best ice cream supposedly in Korea is there. Um, like not in Korea, I'm sorry. In Seoul is there as well. Um, it's called Dango. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to buy some, which I'm super sad because my my dessert mention is actually like a like um, kind of like a chain store but not really chain um, but yeah dango ice cream is there and supposedly it's the best mangwon is a really good area for like foods but this cafe specifically it's so um korean based it's out of like the way kind of but they make homemade pies and i come from texas pie is life okay like pie is delicious pie is amazing but i had a blueberry pie like their pies are so delicious. They also have like tarts and stuff like that there too. Um, but yeah, if like you're in the Mangkwan area or if you're in Hongdae and you're kind of like, uh, Hon Hongdae is like a little, a little hipster for you and a little crowded, try Mangwan and Mapo. It's so delicious. Like this cafe was really good. Like I really enjoyed it. And although they only speak Korean mainly, like honestly, um, the English was like not that well and you know, it's like they're a neighborhood cafe um anyways like for the korean community there like it's so worth going like and i think like i love places like that it's just so good so yeah that's my last like cafe that i really want to mention and now we're on to desserts i wish i had like a really long list for desserts but every cafe that i go to have their own like homemade baked goods and so i just kind of prefer eating their stuff but um, my favorite like kind of chain ice cream is actually gelati gelati in Hongdae. It's actually in the AK Plaza and I was like, oh yeah, like sure. My boyfriend was like, yeah, let's get some ice cream. And I'm like, oh great, like a chain place. But no, gelati gelati is like the, it's so delicious. It's like really yummy freaking gelato. I'm really trying to get to Dango, like I said, like, um, earlier if i did mention it like dango is in mangwon which mangwon i've mentioned twice already mangwon is the move guys like other than hongdae and itaewon like for foreigner stuff and like i wish like i was doing everything traditional but like traditional foods are very delicious here in korea everywhere so yeah like i'm mentioning things that are like kind of like hipster and like cutesy instagramable type of things but yeah gelati gelati is like really good gelato but dango in mangwon is known as like the best ice cream place in seoul so i really want to try it out so when the summer or spring rolls around i'll definitely try it out and let you guys know if it's good those are like all my favorite places in seoul to eat like i would go there like right now like on an all day feast if i could but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed all these places are super instagrammable super picturesque delicious and worth the hype so i really hope you guys enjoyed and check me out next time for another video bye